Welcome to Commander Tune-Ups, Episode 8, with your host, Joe Cherries, and Beezy. You what? really like doing that. This? You do it in like every episode. Uh, it's, I, it's my new, one of my new things. Here's how to submit your deck if you want to be in the next episode of Commander Tune-Ups. You're making it sound... <laughs> Hold on. I'm making it sound as impressive as it is. You just need to subscribe to us, which I think we've earned at this point. And then <laughs> post we your deck this. list in the comments. You know, like a tapped out link is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. And then we're like, hey, cool deck. You also have to Maybe be, we want to. You have that. to be subscribed to our channel. Also. You have to. We'll know if you're not. Even though we never mentioned. Even them. though nothing. <laughs> we know everything. <laughs> There's no way to know your subscribers. <laughs> uh, today we're going over. Literal little or locks fiancés. Ah, we did do ah. we did little little hardcore fans will remember little Orlock from the Wart the Raid Mother episode. Yes, I saved you because you cannot say his name. Little little or, blah, blah, blah. little or lock fiance. Uh, okay. Her her deck. I assume I just assumed that this is a straight man. Uh, her I'm slash, not touching that one. I don't know what's fun. It could be the his slash her deck. Is. I think he mentioned her in the comment. Did he? Yeah. I didn't. I don't remember if he did or not. Either way, it's a Athreos and. I thought you were gonna say it's a she. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna defend this. Athreos got a passage deck. Yes, Athreos got a passage. Read Athreos got a passage. I will read it to spare you. It is one black white for a five four indestructible. Card's insane. As long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, Athreos isn't a creature. Whenever another creature you own dies, return it to your hand unless target opponent pays three life. That doesn't sound like much, doesn't sound like much. in Commander, but, but it's th much. There's a couple of things about this card to mention right away. Well, actually, let's mention restrictions. No cards over $100. That's it. So same nothing same restrictions as our Commander tune-ups. We shall some, I wanted to mention something because I thought of this when I was making the script for this video. Um, we don't make... We're not making these decks competitive competitive we're not making them cdh decks we're going for like 75 percent yep we're aiming for the 75 percent it's mentioned if maybe, you want to if you want to talk maybe 80 85 yeah. if you want to we're a uh, spike here a little spike here if you want to look up like uh the discussion about why you don't make your decks 100 percent, you can we're not going to have that discussion today yeah it's a it's a discussion for another day but we make them about 70 to 80 we'll say 80 yeah 80 percent well about 80 percent we don't make crush all the 75 percent power levels every time yes uh we're gonna get you there uh so no cards over hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, what's th what's cool about this deck? What is this deck's theme? So you're playing an aristocrat style deck. You're trying to sacrifice a bunch of dudes, have your opponents either not be able to pay life or maybe uh, just give you the guys back. Yep. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Actually, but speaking of the thing that this deck can really do, because Ethereos targets an opponent, is play politics. Uh, you gotta make the politic laugh. So this is a whole section. Let's talk about playing politics. Let's with this talk day. about it. All right, let's get right into it. Why don't you take it away? So we'll start off with some of the politic cards. All right. There was originally Niall's Spellbomb in this deck, mm -hmm. but you have upgraded it into Remorseful Cleric, Ooh. who is one and a white for a two-one flyer. Sacrifice him. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. You can do some fun things with this. All, all these kind of effects, if you have a sacrifice, you got to do something effect, you can say, oh, you need that opponent's, you want that opponent's graveyard gone? Other <laughs> opponent, how about you give me this guy back, and I'll get rid of that graveyard for you. Yeah, I'll happily do it if you just don't pay three life, oh, and I'll so take this back to my hand. You can do that with a Shriek Maw. You can say, uh, I'll evoke this yeah, if I'll you... Yeah, I'll that Inferno Titan, but I want it back. Yeah, give me back my Shriek Maw. Like, give me been, back my Shriek Maw. <laughs> give, give me him back. And they pay three life, and you hate them forever. Well, that's easy. Then they pay three life. Now they're probably dead. <laughs> they only start at forty. What other effects? What are some? I like uh, another Kami of False Hope. I was that was what I was gonna say actually. White Weird for a one one. It's Spore Frog. So sack it to Fog. Yep. Uh, turn. Say an opponent. I love. I love having someone under your thumb. Uh, they get oh. a lethal lethal attack. Uh, hold on. I'll save you if. You're my little servant. <laughs> you gotta use that. That's something to do. Uh, playing political is something a lot of players in EDH just don't do. Some play players don't even talk when they play EDH, which that's so lame. Um, it's a game. It's like a board game. Yeah, exactly. You can literally, like, if you're trying to get like the most chance to win a game, you should play 
a reasonable amount of politics every game. Yep. Uh, it turns out in a four-player game, unless you're playing competitive EDH, your best chance of winning is going to come when you make decisions not to anger everyone. If everybody does Even in competitive EDH... I mean, in competitive VDH, it's a little different. You're like definitely, if, no, even if, in the, if you go after and you're, like, the, the number one target, you're going to get pooped on. If you, like, bide your time a little bit and you wait until you can go off. Yeah, you just don't want to... Well, yeah, but that's, that's not what I meant. You, playing politics isn't as important in CDH. It is important in the 80% where you're playing. It is really important because you can just, you can just get a player on your side. I have to yell at PC all the time. He plays too many politics and, and then... You got kill- too many. I just keep winning. Mm-hmm. Last time, I literally... I literally helped him, and he killed me. So That was like five games ago. It was like 25 games ago. and I was I'm playing Mono Red. What did you want from I'm me? I'm still salty. Mono Red. Still salty. Mono Red is still salty. Anyway. What other politics can we do here? What are some cool things? We're moving on from politics? Okay. I didn't realize we had reached the... there was more on the second page. Unless you have anything to add. No, I don't. Uh, I think that this is a cool factor that this deck adds. It... The commander is built in politics. It's an extra layer. Another like, little thing about the commander dimension that we haven't mentioned is it's an artifact. It's an enchantment. It's never it's almost never it's a It's an artifact. It's not an artifact. It's an enchantment. It's almost never a creature. Which is a strange thing to think about. Your commander isn't a creature, basically. It's just good. It's and a, when it is a creature, it doesn't it's, it's not mostly die a, that easy. It's mostly a static effect you're gonna have. Um that's all. Like it's different in that way. Is that, sort of. I mean if it's a creature you get to beat somebody down, but and block. Yeah, we're not really not worried about that. It comes up a little bit. It does. I'm not saying it doesn't. But it's more important that it's not a creature because it's harder to remove. Fine. What's the next category? Next category is, let's talk about your sacrifice outlets and taking advantage of those dying creatures. (laughs) What? I don't know. You're just laughing? (laughs) You looked at me weird. That's why I laughed. You're killing your creatures. You're getting them back half the time, let's say. You're draining your opponents. What are some of the sack outlets? Uh... Well, we don't really have to go into detail about these. The, the th- we'll start with the creature stack outlets. You know them. You um, love them. You know them. You love them. They're the basic ones. Uh, carrion feeder. It's on screen. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to tell you what it does. It's on Viscerous screen. here. Viscerous here. This one you might not know. I'll read this one to you. I thought you meant you, Viscerous here. I'm like, no, I know. Yehenny, Undying Partisan. You might not know this one. Oh, he's Yehenny? A, you don't know Yehenny? Uh, he's... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This one is they. They are gender neutral. Oh, really? Yep. All either born are gender neutral. Fun so, fact of the day. So she... Uh, uh, they <laughs> works, actually. Oh, okay. I had no clue that you one were gender neutral. Oh, that's the most important part two, of the Kaladish story. <laughs> two, a black, legendary creature, Aetherborn vampire, haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one counter on Yehenny, undying partisan. Sacrifice another creature, Yehenny gains destructible. It's another free one. Free is the, the yep. important part. Uh, and that is a little lesser, Eily, because you have to pay one sacrifice, gain life. But she's definitely, she's definitely the best... Not free sack outlet. She's sweet. Yeah, as a creature, yeah. Um, she has death touch. She can trade with something. So she has a pretty relevant ability if you're at 50 or more. And she gains you life. Well, let's mention one thing. Uh, there was a sub-theme in this deck of gain life that we completely cut. That we did not completely cut it. Oh, okay. Let's you're say right. we shaved Cause, it Because Eilie's still in here. So obviously yeah. we didn't... No, we shaved about most of the cards. Uh, we cut, like, Feld, Feldire Cybervin. Mm-hmm. Um... Soul Warden, Soul's Attendant. We cut those yeah, kind we of cut effects. the life gain. Um, we went for... Kind of just replaced it with combo. Combo we cards. Uh, a lot of good... This, this deck, I bet you it has somewhere close to 10 infinite combos. It's really cool. And they're not like... And they're really not like intentional. The, the deck just synergizes just like critical very, mass. very well. Critical mass combos. There's just a lot of cool things you can do. There's a couple cards like Nim's Death Mantle, which we'll go over later, <laughs> which we put in the deck for combos. Nim's Death Mantle. Nim Death Nim is not a person. <laughs> no, it's, Nim is not. Nim Death Mantle. All right. All right. Uh, All right. We got the creatures out of the way. Yep. What are the artifacts? I'm going to tell you. These are really good. Ashnod's Altar. Three mana for an artifact. Sacrifice creature. Add wing ding, wing ding to your mana pool. Phyrexian wing Altar. Ding. Yeah, it's a little, little wing ding. little symbol. Is that what you call it? A wing ding? That's what some people call it. Anyway. Oh, okay. Phyrexian Fair Altar. Enough. Three colorless. Sacrifice creature. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Phyrexian Altar was $50. Uh, currently down to about... 15? No, it's f- regular ones 15? Are f- regular oh. ones are 15. Get them, get them right now. There's another card in this deck. This card is, Phyrexian Altar is so good. Another, another card we added that I don't think is listed anywhere. We added Demonic Tutor. Also $20. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. The card is not going to stay low in any universe. It's going to go up to 50 again. The card is just insane. It's like what the, one of the best tutors. Yeah. EDH, yeah. It probably is the best tutor in EDH. It's insane. Well, let's not get crazy. I don't know. I think Demonic Tutor is the best There's tutor probably in probably some... What's better? 
Vampiric is probably up there. I don't think it's better, though. You don't think so? I think it's, it's Some people might say it's better. I'm not saying it's better. Okay, I'm saying it's up in the air. Uh, you have a lot of ways in this deck of taking advantage of those dying creatures. So let's talk about some of them. Shall we? We added Dictate of Erebos and Grave Pact. You want yeah. both of them in this deck. Oh, yeah. Um, again, your creatures are going to die a lot. We got some board wipes. These are going to be board wipes. These are going to be, like, one-sided. Also, every time your creatures die, don't forget. Your commander yeah. is triggering every single time. Make sure you target people. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. You. You can bully someone if you don't want to play politics, or if someone's on your side, go for them. Go to them when you want to get the creature back, and then go to the somewhat person you're bullying. There's also to go, uh, like, another life. thing about it. Yeah. Is yeah. Players get low. You start getting players near 10, 10 life if or I'm so. I'm 20. I'm, I don't really want to pay 3 life. Yeah, exactly. It, also, if a player this is where 2 or 1 life, they can't pay. That's you automatically, hilarious. You automatically get it back. Um, That's just hilarious. It, that can let you loop things with Rexing Altar. Yes. And Ashdown's Altar, yes, too. Yes, there is lots of, yeah, there is lots of things. Uh, I didn't put a 1-drop in this deck, like uh, like uh, Doom Traveler. But if you have a Doom Traveler and a Phyrexian Altar, and, and somebody's at one, and someone is at one or two, you can get infinite, infinite mana. You you get no, you don't get infinite mana. Oh, you do. You can get infinite mana and infinite uh, spirits. Well, yeah. Or if you have, you do get infinite spirits. Right. I was just gonna say you get infinite death triggers. And infinite if, death if you triggers. Have any a, any one mana. Creature. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do. A lot of silly things. Pretty cool. Can <laughs> we mention that there's a lot of combos in here? This is a cool deck. This is. Um, I thought this was going to be really similar to the Marin deck we did. It's not also, that, not that I similar. want to mention that this is one of the decks. This is probably the second one that we've done that has made me want to build a deck. This is this and Lord One Grace have made me want to build a deck. This is the second white deck we've ever done, and the first one was four colors, <laughs> right? Is that true? Did we do a four color deck? Atraxa. We did Atraxa. This is the second white deck after that one. Oh well, that's cool. Uh, we have the classic. Speaking of very different from Marin, we have. Falcon Roth Noble, Zulapur Cutthroat, and Blood Artist. Yeah, they're all the same. You know uh, what they do? They're drain effects. You they're want just, these? They're just really good. So we're playing them in this deck. Yeah. Not a big deal. Not the focus of the deck. Not the uh, powerhouses. We're not living deathing them back. But they're good. No. You could add living death to this deck if you wanted to. It's not it's not it's not in this deck. Yeah. If someone said, Hey, it's in my deck, I'd be like, Oh, that makes sense. I oh, can sure. see why you have yeah. it in there. Yeah. It makes sense. But I actually like this other combo more than Living Death in this oh. because it's kind of similar. Uh, read it. You, you have it's your favorite. Faith's reward. This is a cool card. Let me read it. It is three white instant. Return to the battlefield all permanents in your graveyard that were put there f from the battlefield this turn. You're returning everything. So you get all those sack, whatever, you can get lots of scries, you can get all your death triggers, and then bring them all back and do it all again. Yeah. Athreos, uh, you can, if you stack this correctly, also even if you have Athreos out, what can happen is you can stack the triggers so all of the returning your hand is on the stack so you want to get everything back for sure sure just make sure nobody gets the choice yet and then you return them and then everyone says no <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe they want to go like i'll pay three i'll pay three. <laughs> and then they pay three life because they're dust they want their dust shadows to grow what's funny is if you know probably the first couple times you do this or with new people you can go like uh sack my guy trigger and they're like okay pay three life all right scry one Sack my guy. All right, I'll pay three life. I don't want you to get it back because you're going for like some kind of value thing. And they're like, all right, faith's reward. Uh, yeah, let me get them. Idiot. Yeah, I wanted them there until they until they learn. Oh, he's sitting there with four mana up. <laughs> what, what, if, goes, if you just start sacrificing things on your turn, and you make it a habit. They'll never know. You can also you can also with faith's reward and stuff. If you want to get some card draw, so things like yeah, a reason you might be sacrificing things on your turn. Yep. Grim horror specs and midnight reaper. I'm gonna read midnight reaper because he's a new boy. Mm -hmm. Two and a black for a three two. Sounds really familiar. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you have to take one damage from this guy, and you have to draw a card. Yep. Zulip, uh, or Grim, Hor Grim Horror Specs just says whenever another non-token you control dies, draw a card. It's good. They're both good. Um, I mean, obviously Grim Horror Specs is strictly better because it has morph. But other than morph... <laughs> the morph ability? Yeah, that was that's, the best part That's the that. strictly better part? Oh, yeah. You morph it every time. No. Don't do it. Even though Minute Reaper draws off itself. Come on. What's better? Drawing a card or playing the same mana cost? I like how close I morphed. These are really interesting to talk about because these are so close in power level. Mm. That they, but two slight differences, like real, the losing a life, obviously being very relevant, especially if you're drawing tons of cards. You can't go infinite. Yep, you can't go infinite to draw your whole deck with it. Or like on the other side of it, you get the what it draws for itself. Mm -hmm. Is that worth? Uh, I guess once you have Blood Artist, you can't you just draw your whole deck. You do want both of them in this deck, but it's interesting to talk about, I think. True. Moving on. Ooh, the next one. 
Come. This, is spice. this is fun to talk about. This is classic uh, mono black. Classic mono black. But we're putting it in our black white deck because it's about 75% black, this deck. It's a very. I feel like that's true of all black X decks. Black takes up a lot of it. Yeah. So we got our big mana and our mana sinks. So big mana is we got our classic. Let's start with the, the most basic of basics. You got. This is just. This isn't the gourmet. This is no gourmet. This is not bagel. the gourmet. But this is not going to receive the coveted. Nitpicking Nerds Gourmet Bagel Award. Did you make it yet? Are you going to make the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. As long it's, as... It, I mean, something's going to be in my hand. Something's going to get the Gourmet Bagel in this deck. It's not this card, though. Not this card. This is, this is basic. Uh, we But it's a good combo. Yeah. Cabal Coffers, Urborg. You know what? You love it. Sometimes you just they're can't. Fine. You, you mean they're going to... Two-color deck. Why, why not? It's also... They're insanely good. Yeah. Uh, we added a little expedition map to the deck mm -hmm. to help you get it. Uh, sometimes your regular tutors get this. I have definitely demonic tutored to get the Cabal Goffers combo. Why wouldn't you tutor for eight mana every turn unless yeah, they kill it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, some more big mana things. Ooh, Black Market. You're sacking lots of creatures. I don't like this card, but I've seen it be great. Uh, it's really good. It is good in this deck. Yeah, um, it's true. You Whenever just... a creature dies, put a charge counter on it. Beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add black for each charge counter on it. Three okay. and two black. For an enchantment. This might turn on Athreos. You get your enchantments out that cost black, black. <laughs> or Grave Pack costs black, black, black. This card's just good. Strong. Um, this card's just good. There's also, in this deck, it's not... Uh, I don't think we mentioned it in a specific spot. All four of the one this creature enters the battlefield, each <laughs> each player sacrifices a creature. Slum Reaper. Let's see if we can name them. Slum Reaper. Flashback Marauder. Flashback Marauder. Merciless Executioner. Playcrafter. Playcrafter. All four are in the deck. Um, which is fine. And I think this each deck one wants gets them. you four counters on... Freaking black I market. think the main thing, the main reason you want these is also because of Athreos. You get that trigger. It hurts my opponents. Yeah. Of course you can have it back. <laughs> also, Slum Reaper is the worst of the worst of them. Still good in this deck. It's cool. I like that card. Uh, I don't know if I'd keep it in the deck if I was building the deck for myself, but I think... I don't think I would. I think it fits the deck well. It's, uh, it's good to know that your opponents will get a message like, yeah, I'm playing Slum Reaper. <laughs> Sacrifice a creature, buddy. Okay. Moving on. Let's we move. got... Cryptcast. Uh, classic Cryptcast. Oh, this card's lame. At least it has Extort, though. Extort's cool. Uh, three. I don't even know. Is it 2-2? Two, two? Yeah. Three black for a 2-2. Two, two, uh, whenever extort. You tap, whenever you tap a swamp for mana, add... Uh, black. Add black. Uh, it doubles your black mana, and it has Extort. So Notable. it gives you a sync for it. Notable. You don't have to tap a swamp for black mana. You can tap a scrubland for white and still go to black. Yep. That is true. Now let's talk about those payoffs. Now you got all this mana. You've doubled your mana. You've doubled it again. Speaking You've Cabal Coffered. One of these is lame, and the other one's freaking awesome. Uh, well, this has become, recently in the past like year since this card has come out, it's become a big win con in EDH. Move over, Exsanguinate. We got Torment of Hailfire. Way better than Exsanguinate. Read it. So much better. It is X, Black Black, Sorcery, with Awesome Nickel Bolas Art. You want to awesome, get the play mat. Get the playmat. The playmat's sweet. Sweet playmat. Repeat the following process X times. That's right. That's how we start a card. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Wow. This is powerful. I it's mean... It's going to hurt. It, you, For the record, this card is basically dead. X equals five or less. It doesn't do anything. It's also funny. When you look at this card, it doesn't look as powerful as this. Wait until you have it. that ability sucks. There's so many cards in that set that had that ability. It's like, bleh. Yeah, because you're doing it once. Turns out when you're doing it 17 like, times. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're dead. Yeah. You're just completely dead. You're just dead. Best way to look at it is, all right, I'm doing it for 15. You have 45 damage you need to prevent. So now every, just every time you discard a card, you just take it down to 42. Discard, go to 39. And, stuff, and that's how we resolve it. Yep. And... It's still, it's still wins the game every time. All right, uh, this next one has easy. some of the coolest art I've ever seen. It's awesome. Death of the Deathless. X is white, white, black, black. For a sorcery, each opponent loses two times X life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. So it's got the sexy old wording of you don't just gain X life. You gain life equal to the life your opponents lose. I want to be very clear. I am so against that wording. I hate the new oh, wording. Yeah, I know you're against the new wording. I am I love this old wording. I like I want cards to be scale for multiplayer. Scale for multiplayer. You have better cards in EDH. Like there's no reason. In a lot of these no, cards No Joe, extort was broken. You're supposed to gain only one life off of it. Extort's so broken that almost no none of the cards are played in EDH besides there's two. Yeah. The Crypt Gas, Blind Obedience. That's all I can think of. Exactly. It's like it's just good. It's not broken. It's good. It's annoying. It's annoying that they keep doing this. There's so many bad cards. 
that they put that wording on. It's like, well, that card's bad anyway. It wasn't going to be played in EDH, so why did it even need to be mentioned? Yeah, why not give it a chance? Exactly. It's just frustrating. I, I honestly am... It's super annoying to me that they continually won't... They just can't put a card out that says uh, each opponent loses one life and you gain three life. Or you gain one for each life lost this way. I hate it. I'm sorry. I hate it. Moving on. Anyway, Death of the Deathless is awesome. If you play it for, let's say you sink six mana into it, so... X is six, so you've, you've spent ten mana. Now each opponent is losing twelve, and you gain thirty-six life. Full. That's awesome. It's it's you can use it early to stabilize your life total too. It's not like torment where it doesn't do anything. You can't really use it early. How ten is pretty early if you just spend ten mana on it. Ten mana. How early in the game do you think ten mana? Is? That's that's it's like turn five if you have cabal coffers. Well, that's a little different. I'm just saying that's a, that's a little later game. Even. No, late game is like. 15, you're dead. You take 30. <laughs> I don't want that. All right, moving on. Winning the game. Winning the game. What well, category? Talk, well, we're talking about winning the game. Too. Everyone's favorite. Uh, the X spells, the Blood Artist. Those are win cons uh, in this deck. This deck has more win cons. Let's talk oh, about here's some more. Let's talk about the cool ones. So your deck really works well with exquisite blood, bond or blood. It's the other Explosive one. blood. Explosive blood. It works good with exquisite blood. The ah, deck itself. What, so, is that, what does that card so even do? So I put that card in. So, exquisite blood is four black enchantments. Another enchantment. Uh, whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. So, it really works well with your commander. But, if you got this one in your deck, why don't you got the other one in your deck? Sanguine bond. I'm the sanguine bond to Joe's exquisite blood. Why don't you... Three black black for an enchantment. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much Life. So if an opponent loses one life, you win the game. Yeah, once you have these two out, if anyone, if you gain life or if an opponent loses life, the game's over. Yep, it, infinite combos. Um, it's not a super broken combo. It's because it's clunky as. Heck. It's really clunky. It's easily removable. But in a deck like this, you, I honestly think you just want an effect. Like you'll take either half, and then they'll be scared of the other half. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I think. Like, Sanguine Bond's just okay in the deck. We don't have a lot of life game. Yeah, that card, but maybe it's the worst card in the deck. It gets the Moldy Bagel Award. Yeah, the Moldy Bagel Award. But, Exquisite Blood. Now, that's a good card in the deck. I don't think it's Gourmet Bagel good. Oh, what do you think is Gourmet Bagel good? I think we'll get to the Gourmet Bagel. Okay, okay. All right. This is it. Is the next one condition? No, this is not it. I didn't know if you thought this was no, the Gourmet Four and a Black Enchantments are not the, the Gourmet <laughs> Bagel. This is another Four and Black Enchantment. How many? This was already in the deck, and we left it in because it's awesome. Rebel uh, and Riches. Yep. Uh, it's a cool one, Ken. It's, uh, this, you, we have to read this one. Yeah, we Rebel and Witches. Four. Black. Enchantment. Whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure token, which you can sacrifice for mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. Oh, you win the game. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Combo so with itself. Your board wipe. Boom. Slum Reaper gets you three-ish yep, uh, triggers. Yep. And it, this just ramps you also. It also does just ramp you, which can go into your... What are they? Those x spells. <laughs> I was like, what, uh, what are they? The, the sweet I've had to Vandal Blast eight treasure tokens before. Yeah. Feels yeah. great. Yep. Uh, Doesn't feel great. I don't know what what's, what is your, where did I didn't what do you think is the gourmet bagel with Dejan Dejan mustard or something? Dejan, no, Dejan cream cheese. Dejan, Dejan <laughs> cream cheese. Well, let's talk about some more ways to win. Okay, more ways to win. Uh, how about some infinite combos? How about them? How about them? We got Nim Death Mantle and Ashnot's Altar, which goes infinite with two things here. It goes infinite with having a ref lark and any two creatures to return. So you um. You, yeah. Right, so you got it equipped. You want to read Nim Death well, Oh, God, we have definitely have to read Nim Death Mantle. Hold on. Read it. Two mana artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, has intimidate, and is a black zombie. That does not matter at all. Whenever a non token creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay four. If you do, return that card to the battlefield and attach Nim Death Mantle to it. Oh, it is equipped four. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Basically, a creature you control dies, then you pay four. Get the death mantle onto the creature. Yep. So you sack Revlark, get two mana. Yep. Uh, return the two creatures with the Niv Death Mantle still on the stack. Sacrifice one of those creatures. Doesn't doesn't matter. These can be anything. They could literally be one ones that do nothing. Yeah. Sack the sack the other guy, other one one that means nothing off. Uh, and then you have two extra mana, and you go off from there. 
and you can eventually put all this extra. You're gonna get two extra mana every single time you yeah, do. Yeah, every time you do it. Everything you get six, is, and you're paying four to get six. So you can get infinite mana and just drain them. Uh, Grave Titan goes infinite by itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just obviously sack the sack, two dudes. Sack the, the two, two dudes makes and the guy and the Grave Titan get back to Grave Titan. You've same created same. two mana. Yep, you've created two mana, or you can just make infinite two twos like this, can't you? Yeah, I never even thought about that. Yeah, you could also just make infinite two twos as well. Um, Again, right. and these also both of these when you do these you get infinite death triggers which can kill people also if you have the right carrots. Now I don't know how you feel, but I feel like my vote for gourmet bagel would be Revlark. Revlark is your gourmet I, bagel? I, I feel it, it's giving me that gourmet vibe. In this deck, you get to pay six, then you get an Athreos trigger with it. They're never going to give it back to it's you. It's really good. Then you get two more things back. It, just, it goes infinite with everything. All right, gourmet bagel lord goes to, to Revlark. <laughs> Revlark also goes infinite with Karma Kite. Yes, it does. Uh, very easily, obviously. Using Sack Outlet, Revlar, Camera Guide, Infinite Die Triggers. Yeah, you just need a way to take advantage of those triggers. Yep. Which you have a lot of it in this deck. Uh, Weird. We have a lot of draw engines. It's almost like we built it that way. You have a lot of draw engines, you have a lot of drain engines. Um, card's good. Uh, I really like Camera Guide in ADH. I think it's, yeah, it's so really good card. strong. It's just. strong. Wah! Sure. It's almost a Gorman Bagel. But, not in this deck. Right, right. You know, you know what, Camera Kite, if we ever do a Beezy's favorite commander, Carador, Camera Kite is probably the gourmet bagel of Carador. It is so good in Carador. I don't know if it's the gourmet bagel. It's pretty damn good. If you're not. It's definitely not better than Survival of the Fittest. I think Protein Hulk is probably the gourmet bagel of that deck. Because <laughs> yeah. you just try to get it out. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Moving on to the comparisons. Yeah. Why don't you read some comparisons this time? Comparisons. I always read them. So, the price editions were $224.20. Five cents. Uh, what were the priciest cards? The most expensive of these ads was Makaya Sea and Hollow, Emrakul the Promise and Strip Mine. Strip Mine for Dokunori. Cards we haven't gone over yet. We'll go over them a little bit at the end there. We'll touch on. They're all really good cards that should be in this deck. Uh, we moved, this is the second time now that we've moved up the converted mana cost. Yes. But mostly because we were cutting one drops that just weren't very impactful. Souls Attendant, Souls Warden, Now Spell Bomb. Now Spell Bomb, Mortician Beetle, Innocent Blood. Innocent blood. This blood's good, but like you can just put it on a creature and get an extra trigger. We did that, <laughs> which we did. Um, well, it was three point oh two, and now it is three point three five for our deck. Yep, uh, not a huge increase. Is an increase again. I just the one drops just weren't as impactful as you want. Gaining also, one? Emrakul Promise End does not cost thirteen mana. Oh, that's but true. But the average converted mana cost thingy thinks it does. Yes, it is. Does not cost thirteen mana. Uh, also, the main reason that comes in the deck is because of the cool thing you can do, which is. It's so cool. Munch it. So you play Emrakul, and you go, all right, target you, Joe. I get to control your next turn. And then <laughs> once it gets to Joe's turn, let's put him at 30. Let's say you're at 33 life. Oh, wow. That's what a pretty th- lofty life total. Wow. That's pretty high. Wow. Fine. You're at 34 life, and you have City of Brass out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Tap City of Brass, go to 33, and then you pass priority to the real you, and you go, okay, I'll sack 11 creatures. Uh, hey, uh, Joe, would you like to pay 33 life? And Joe goes, why, yes, I would. I'll pay 33 life. Oh, no, I'm dead. Yep. All right. Uh, total changes. That's just so cool. It is stuff you can... It is it's fun. It's silly. Uh, 35 total changes. Mm-hmm. Um, again, a lot of them were some smaller creatures. We changed and stuff. 35% of this deck. We did. Uh, there's like five changes to the lands. Um, again, most of it was just cutting cards we felt weren't that impactful. Well, let's talk about the ads and cuts, then. Let's talk about them. Um, they're going to be up on screen while we do this talking. Yes. Uh, too much bot removal, personally. Yes. We got uh, Utter End, Unmake, Go for the Throat, Vonus Hunger, Slaughter Pact. And we added Anguish on Making because it's better than Utter End. But yep. you can just leave Utter End in if you want. You can. Utter End's not bad. Um, you can play Utter End. Anguish Making is just better. Uh, we also had a Grave Pact to save Erebos. Those mm-hmm. are That's our removal for this deck. Switched out Spell Bomb for the Cleric. Way better. Yep. Uh, you get a trigger off it, which is what makes it so much better. We mentioned we cut the Life Gain theme. We cut a couple of the lands that are tapped. Um, the best unmentioned cards, mm-hmm. which we mentioned, which now were, were Macias and um, Vidalkin Or. Uh, Macias has. I'm surprised we didn't put it. So Macias is silly. He goes infinite very, very, very easily. He's a win con too. Um, if you have, um, so there's so many cards ahead that's so infinite with them. You just have a walking blister in your deck. There's so many small things. Yeah, just, you could do that. Just go infinite in this. If you, yeah, he's in the deck. If you want to add something with him, you can make him go infinite easily. Triskelion. Um, there's just anything with persist. Yep, exactly. There's just lots of lots and lots and lots of ways to go infinite with this man. 
Emrakul's sweet. Talk about Vidalcan Ori. Why did we add that card? Um, we usually don't. We don't. Uh, but <laughs> I think the main one of the main reasons we added it is with the no cards over $100, you can really add. You really have a lot of flexibility. And Vidalcan Ori is so powerful. A lot, like, I don't have it in all my ADH checks, but I think the only reason I don't is I don't have seven Vidalcan Ori's. So it's really good <laughs> when you have a lot of cards in your hand, your deck's drawing a lot of cards. This is similar because if you have a buddy, then you can end step, sack, get something back, and then just play it. Yep. Exactly. You're just getting like marginal scry value. Like how many people are going to like sack my thing, draw a card, do you want to give it back or pay three life? It's like, okay, whatever, just have it back. All right, I'll play it again. Uh, we'll go back to Remorseful Cleric. Uh, you have, if you have a friend... Stuff like the, that is so good. You're... Like, think about it this way. You have you have extra mana, but you don't really have anything to spend it on. Um, you have your Athros out, and you have a Remorseful Cleric. Uh, someone cast um, Rise of the Dark Realms. Now you have to give it hey. all. <laughs> yeah, you can give it all graveyards. All you gotta do is make one friend, and then yep. there's no graveyards. You just gotta... It's stuff like this. There's just so many... Little, noodle. There's a lot of little things you can do like that. Um, Shriek Maw to get rid of any you start creatures gunning down? on you the fly. Bully somebody. You just two people team up on one person. Who's ahead? You just bully them. With Shriek Maws. Bully. 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 Uh, I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning anymore, but that was... I think that was the deck. That is the deck, and it's a pretty cool deck. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe for more Commander-related content. If you want to be in the next episode, and you're like, I have a deck that I want tuned up. Nobody has... So let's be... No one No one's just the video from Lord Wingrace, our last video. So it's up in the air what we do next. So we tend to lean more towards... The newer guys and girls. And whoever... Yes, if you posted a newer one, a newer deck from a newer set, you haven't had a video done before... There's, like, yes. there's a lot of factors, yes. and you put the it on our newest video. video. Although this one was from our oldest video. with, with This is our oldest request. Yep, it was a pretty old request, but hey, we were, were looking, and we found it. Yeah, and so just going. be subscribed and comment your deck and preferably tapped out in the comments. Yes, and we'll take a look at it, we'll t and we'll let you know if we're going to be doing it. Right. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.